Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're just doing, well, something silly really, which I'm sure is a bit of a surprise, I know, for a channel that's content is otherwise pretty highbrow. Today I thought I would take some of the more popular townies in Willow Creek, take them into Creator Sim and switch their gender, try and dress them up as they currently do, but in the other gender. No real reason, just a bit of fun. So we're gonna start with Bob and Liz. I'm gonna hop into Creator Sim, so I'm not gonna do anything to change their actual facial features. I'm just gonna try and style them in the way that I think they would be styled if they had always been the gender that they're changing to. So Bob, you are going to be called Bobby. And this is female Bob. Good to get a sense of what we're working with. Quite big tits there, Bob. Ah, very nice. And obviously I'm not going to change the traits. I mean, the main thing here is that they are still ultimately the same person, same personality, just in a different gender. Eliza will now be Elliot. Oh, Elliot looks pretty cool. I think we're going to have to change that. I think Elliot's going to have to go for a bit more of a stuck up look, like in his original form. Let me just make sure he's got the snooty walk. Yeah, okay, perfect. Right, let's start with Bob. So Bob is pretty, or Bobby, sorry, pretty laid back. I'd say the fashion is a little bit slouchy and I'm gonna try and stick to the original colouring. So he had like a peach sort of top. So let's have a look at orange and pink. Let's see. It's not gonna be something super feminine, I don't think. Something quite slouchy, like an oversized t-shirt or a hoodie or something like that, I think. I mean, I'm tempted to say that could work. This might be a bit too similar to his original look, but that's a possibility. I mean, to be honest, even just like a side cut t-shirt is still pretty chill. I just don't want him to look, or her to look pretty pris pristine and, you know, look as if they have their life together. It's not really Bob's vibe. Oh, this could work, possibly, this one. I'm kind of, uh, I'm wanting to come across a shirt that's got like food stains on it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we don't have anything. We've got like rough up, roughed up clothing from the werewolf pack, but nothing with like food stains. Why don't we have that? We have everything else. So quite like this, but this isn't gonna work. This looks too purposely grungeful, and I don't think Bobby, I don't think she would put any thought into like actually following a trend or like deliberate fashion, you know? I'm thinking this is my favorite top so far that fits that kind of vibe. I might change my mind, but we'll stick with this for now. I'm pretty sure Bob wears um, green khaki, khaki cargo pants. I think we'll probably try and be as close to Bob as possible with Bobby. I mean, even these could work. Same colour and they're also quite loungy, aren't they? That could work. Ah, oh, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm preferring, the more I'm liking this. And those are the cargos. Hmm, I'm torn. I'm torn between this one and this one. I think we'll go with the cargos. I'm not going to do too much with the trainers, I'll just change the colour slightly just to make it a little bit more matched. I'm not going to change anything about the face, probably I'll put a little bit of makeup on though. And Bob has naturally curly hair, so I think Bobby should have some, some curls as well. I mean this could work, this is naturally curly. Okay, this is a maybe. I also have this, which also looks quite good. I think I prefer the first one though. Yeah, I think this one really suits Bobby. Obviously, she's got to have some luscious lashes. Uh, throw on some earrings as well. Just something simple, not too flashy, just some little hoops. And then in terms of makeup, I think we'll do something kind of subtle. Just a little bit of blush, tiny bit of lip gloss. And I think, I think that will do. Now, I don't know about you, but I think Bobby Pancakes absolutely beautiful fabulous Bobby okay Elliot so I am going to put Elliot in green now I kind of feel like the right sort of look I mean this could work but I'm thinking like buttoned up collared shirt little bit Jeffrey land grabby little bit little bit of a preppy look I think either that or like a very modestly dressed like reverend style <laughs> this might be a bit too casual oh this could work, this could work. Yeah, I'm having a quick scroll and I think I might be sold on this one. I wonder if they have it in more of a vivid green. Something a bit brighter maybe? Uh, I mean there's this one. I don't know, I think we'll stick with this one though. 
and then a simple pair of jeans just want to make sure this doesn't have any patterns on it just simple and then definitely not trainers we would be wearing smart shoes obviously we need some specs and hairstyle see i actually think that the one that gener the one that was generated when we turned into a man is actually quite a nice one I'm kind of tempted to just keep it i suppose this one could work yeah i think i'm gonna keep it i think i am so there is our first couple elliot pancakes and his beautiful wife bobby pancakes okay cool with that i think we should move on to another family so i have three families in mind for this video the pancakes who we've just done i also want to do the goth family and the bff so let's go across the street and move on to the bff household modifying cass okay so we have travis who is going to become tracy oh look at that she looks she's already got makeup on Travis makes quite a nice lady, actually. And then we have Liberty, who is going to become Leo. Very nice. And then finally, Summer, who is going to become Sammy. Okay, great. So I want to start with Leo, because I feel like if Liberty was a boy, be quite edgy, I think. I definitely already had it in, in my mind that this sim would have some kind of colour streaks in his hair. Definitely like alternative, maybe a bit grungy kind of thing. Type you would expect to be in a band. Something like this, I think. I might even go so far as to say we could even get some face piercings. Maybe something like that. It's a shame you can't get lip piercings. So Liberty wears a purple like graphic tee. And I don't think we want to stray too far from that. I think style wise it would probably be pretty similar could maybe even do something like this or this could work yeah i think i think this might be the one although there is this t-shirt thing is if i put him in a t-shirt then it's going to be pretty much like exactly the same as liberty i don't want it to be exactly the same just like inspired by now i don't know how easy it's going to be to find some yellow trousers that are going to go with this but we'll see oh this could work rolled up at the bottom and then maybe just some basic flat shoes like that okay Right, well, Leo, I think, could be done. So Leo's a little bit more alternative, I think. Sammy, however, I think we're definitely going down the preppy route. I mean, Summer's style is pretty preppy anyway. She's got, like, a blue and white striped collared shirt. If I could find something the same, if I could find something similar to that, that could work. Although I do like this. It's not exactly preppy, but I do like it. This is pretty similar. Oh, or this one. This could be the one that looks pretty preppy, doesn't it? Or this one. Maybe something like this. Or possibly some like chino style shorts. I think we'll go with this. This time I think white trainers and I think definitely socks. Okay, Sammy. And then finally, Tracy kind of tempted to go for a red dress travis mainly wears red i know he wears green trousers but i think a full body red would look quite good i mean even something like this i know it's kind of simple but even something like this could do the job this is probably most similar to what he originally wore because it's the checkered and it's also kind of greeny like an olive green at the bottom i don't know though i, I don't think that it's very Travis, but it's not quite Tracy, you know? I feel like Tracy would want to wear something a bit more racy. I mean, I know that this is technically formal wear, but it does look good. And it looks like it's quite loose as well, you know? Quite light fabric. So you could just walk around in something like this every day. Fuck it. We're going to go for this one. I'm even, even going to give Tracy a little bit of cleavage. There we go. Maybe some slight heels. Okay, let's look at hair and makeup. I kind of like the hair that she's got going on. Maybe something... Mm, not quite. I don't think it would be anything elegant, but it wouldn't be, like, scruffy either. It could even be this. This could be the one. No, I think this is the one. Obviously, we've got to do the lashes. And I think, for Tracy, we want to be a little bit heavier on the makeup. I kind of get the vibe that Travis is a bit of a player. And so, therefore, I think if Travis were a girl, I feel like Travis would want to go, like, glam, you know? Okay. Glamorous Tracy, cool boy Leo, and preppy boy Sammy. Beautiful, beautiful. 
I'm kind of looking forward to playing in this save file and just stumbling across these sims and forgetting who they are and realizing that they're uh, the townies. I feel like these guys look good. Yeah. Okay, final stop then, the goth residence. And finally, the goth family. So this one I think is a bit of a strange one because the they kind of have the same style like Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth they both have that like classy classical look to them so I kind of feel like they would dress pretty similarly so they're not really gonna look too different I don't think and even with Cassie and Alex they also both have that like academic look to them but let's start with Bella she can be Bernard Goth Oh, quite brighter clothing. Same hairstyle. Okay, I think Bernard would have something kind of classical, possibly this. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be like a Travis hairstyle like this, I don't think. It'll be like either combed to the side or combed back or something like that, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe that first one that we started with. I think this one. And I also think Bella would have maybe just a little bit of stubble perhaps or something a bit more styled like that yeah maybe something like where it's kind of faded a little bit perhaps yeah definitely planning on sticking to the red this one's a maybe kind of prefer just like a plain shirt with a red blazer or something like that that's a bit too laid back i think oh could do with this actually that could work and i'm thinking probably some formal trousers and maybe just some, just some simple black smart shoes. Bernard Goth. And I think Mortimer would be called Marilyn. I think um, Mortimer as a female sim doesn't actually look that much like Mortimer. So I think again we're going to go for a dress. But I don't want it to be all red. And Mortimer's jacket is more of like a burgundy sort of colour. So maybe we'll see if we can find something this kind of colour. Definitely something classy, I mean that goes without saying. I mean even this to be honest, I'm not averse to that. Hmm... I think this might be the one, this dress. Obviously we'll pair it with some heels. Just some simple black heels I think. Unless there are some like strappy ones. I mean these are custom content but I do think these... I can't really decide which ones I like, so I'm just going to go simple with the black heels and then we'll do the nails, maybe that kind of colour. Quite like to go for like flowy hair, sort of like how Bella has, you know, quite long, quite like that. We'll go for that hair, obviously lashes again and then we'll do a little bit of makeup as well. Full lashes, necklace and then I don't think we want to go too heavy on the makeup. Just some, something subtle. Okay, Marilyn Goth, looking gorge, looking gorge. Okay, so we have our couple. So Cassandra, you are going to be Casper. So I'm still gonna give you your glasses. Kind of like these actually. And I, I don't hate that hair. If anything, I kind of wanna give you a little beanie hat to wear with it. Maybe some stubble, maybe. Is that too much face hair for a teenager? Okay, that's better. Just kind of growing. Okay, I think I prefer that. But what to put Casper Goth in? That is the question. Sort of feel like I want to layer him up. Like I want to pick something that has like a jacket over the top. Possibly that. Okay, it might be this. If I can find the right trousers to go with it. Oh no, that's too much pattern on pattern. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, I changed the shirt in the end. Casper is surprisingly quite a difficult one. I don't know whether to go for trainers or boots. I kind of feel like maybe boots would be more appropriate. I think that's probably the happiest I'm going to get with Casper. So let's move on to Alex. Who is just going to be Alexandria. Okay, I think we will go for some black framed glasses. Oh, I quite like that straight hair actually. Quite like to do a skirt, kind of styled off of what Cassandra would, would have worn. Just kind of trying to go for like just Wednesday Adams with this one, but without the braids. So I think in terms of top, it's gotta be either purple or red. Keep with the goth aesthetic. 
stick with those colors could be this one maybe that bit more like outerwear style though isn't it hmm not really much to choose from I kind of prefer see I like this one I also like one of the ones we started off with so this one or that one I think I prefer the open shirt I wonder if there's like a little bit of red somewhere no I don't think so okay we'll go with the gray that one looks the best and then we have our goth family Alexandria goth Casper goth Marilyn Goth and Bernard and that's pretty much three of the main families from Willow Creek anyway who I wanted to give a makeover to today looking forward to bumping into them during gameplay bit of a pointless video but sometimes it's fun to just piss around in the sims and on that note I think I'm gonna end this video here thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe you know I love it when you do that and I'll see you in the next video bye bye